Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Mr. Arnold's Great Isolation Adventure, Chapter 3. Today, we begin with the mighty 13-year-old pug dog, Pugsley. He's lived a good life. Don't feel sorry for him. And he's pondering isolation as well. Morning, Pugs. Who's a good boy? Excellent. <laughs> so, <clears throat> like I usually start the videos off, we're going to take a look at what the breakfast is today. It's a real treat today, although it does not look like that. This is a mock omelet, I suppose. And we are out of shredded cheese today, so I replaced it with a slice of Kraft processed cheese. Oh darn, which I'm sure is going to be tasty. The red stuff on top is brought to you by the good people at Tostitos and Valentina Hot Sauce. Not a sponsor. I also have an espresso, which is half caffeinated and half decaffeinated because if I have too much, it turns me into an absolute squirrel. Okay, good stuff. So that is my delicious and nutritious meal, which is now <laughs> going to get somewhat cold as I shoot this video, but that's all right. Maybe I will eat during the video. Great. We are once again in the kitchen. The kitchen is slightly messier from yesterday because I haven't quite gotten around to cleaning said kitchen yet. But the other themes for today are gratitude and one of my personal favorites which is letting go which is not an easy thing to do especially if you are stuck inside of a house with other people for an extended period of time so first of all gratitude so today's exercise if you'd like please put in the comments below what you are grateful for today. So it is Dress Down Friday, by the way. What I didn't tell you is what I'm wearing for Dress Down Friday today. So normally Dress Down Friday involves, it could involve sweatshirts, it could involve jeans, whatever else, but I like to still keep it a bit above what that standard is. So I went with the collared shirt and as you can say, Dress Down Friday, no bow tie, no bow tie. Also put in the comments below if you think that a pattern should go with a pattern, the horizontal stripes with the airplanes on here, that would be much appreciated. All right, where were we? Great, so gratitude. One thing I am incredibly grateful for is being here with my wonderful, healthy family. And also another thing I'm grateful for on days like today is that it is warm enough and it's getting to the point where it's consistently warm enough that I can hang my clothes outside, which gives them that amazing outside smell, unless your neighbors are having a fire. But then of course, it just smells like my clothes have been at a campsite, which is okay for a day, but if you're wearing clothes like that for an entire week, not so nice. Anyways, I am grateful for being able to hang my clothes outside. The second piece that I want to talk about in the theme of letting go today is from a CBC interview that I heard on the radio one day, and that's a sock is just a sock. I'll tell you what I mean by that. So living in a house with a number of other people, they have certain habits that may become irritating. For instance, if someone seems to leave that one dirty sock on the floor all the time, and you look at that sock and that sock causes great anger to well up inside you. And all you want to do is maybe quietly lash out at the person and give them the silent treatment about that sock. Or you want to get visibly and verbally upset with them. Now I'll come back to a, a sock is just a sock. But if you can't let go of the little things like that, they can build up over time. Especially if you are blocked inside with a bunch of people that you have to get along with for a long period of time. And so what the person in the CBC interview talked about is that sometimes you just have to say, okay, 
that sock did not mean that that person wanted me to get upset. They didn't purposely drop the sock there and say, ooh ha, ah, ooh I'm gonna make them so upset with this sock. No, chances are it's just something they do and it's something that they may always do. So no matter how hard it is, and even though it's not a practice that you use in your life of just leaving things around, other people might be like that. So if you can let go of that and just bend over, pick up the sock and put it in the wash bin. Now that doesn't make things any easier, but at least you have something to say now when you find something like that. So even if there's a, there's a mess that someone keeps leaving around and such, I know that I can take a deep breath and I can say to myself, a sock is just a sock. Take care of whatever it is, whether that's replacing a milk bag, stacking the dishwasher in a certain way, putting dishes that are left out in the dishwasher, and so on. So I definitely know that there are things that I do as well, and I hopefully that people can say a sock is just a sock to some of my behaviors as well. Great. So thanks again for tuning in. Please subscribe. Please put some comments below either about my outfit or what you are grateful for today. And I will see you all in Mr. Arnold's Great Isolation Adventure Chapter 4 on Monday. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.